let's try to explain this situation over here. Um, so yesterday I watched, which is not unusual, I watched a lot of YouTube videos, which I do every day, yeah. Uh, one of which was about NetGalley, uh, how to use it, what it is, how to use it, blah blah blah, um, which I have done before, it's not a new thing, and I've watched other like NetGalley vlogs and stuff like read up the ratio and whatnot. Um, <laughs> Rylan, I'm looking at you, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, and, and I've not like thought, oh, I need to go on NetGalley and see what's up. For some reason, I went on NetGalley. Now, I've had a NetGalley account for a couple of years, I just don't ever use it because, it, well, I, I, I prefer physical books, okay? On the occasion, I will read a digital thingy, uh, but I prefer the phys physical copy book. <laughs> so what did I do on NetGalley? Well, I may have requested a lot of things. So... Yeah, now my ratio, review ratio is at 13%. It was not. It was, I think it was at 98 or something. That that bothers me more than I care to admit. My, I mean, <laughs> the fact that it's a low ratio doesn't actually, it, it doesn't bother me in the sense that I'm not there to request a lot of arcs and stuff. So in that sense, it doesn't do anything for me. But the fact that it's that low, so whether or not I'm going to use NetGalley, like in a professional sense, it, it bothers me. It bothers me a lot. Yeah. So now I need to do something about it. So um, I got my trusty little iPad. So I think I'm going to do a, what's it called, Sc screen recording. Let's see if um, my iPad will do that because I know it's kind of full. Um, okay. So these are the books I have here. I did also request a couple of audiobooks for some reason. Like, why? Why? <laughs> I'm not really a digital reader, nor an audiobook listener. What, what, what happened? What happened? I had a mad one. That's what happened. So as you can see, here are... Um, so we have 11... Uh, books. Um, one of which is an Amigurumi one. <laughs> that was purely, that was my mum. She wanted to see what it's about. Now I need to make a review of it. So that's fun. Yeah, that's fun. Um, so yeah, as you can see, some different kinds of books um, going on here. I believe two of them are at least two of them are like children's, but I'm not sure if it's like a children's novel or if it's like picture books esque. Because then we have YA, so you know I'm confused. But basically, um, yeah, I need to I need to do some reading. So you know, I thought so my process in picking the books were this. Um, I looked at the whole page and I was like, this cover looks interesting. Open up that in a new tab uh, and then I'd check on it. I did that for a couple of times and then I went to check on the different tabs to see if the book was actually interesting or not. I did end up with so many books. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, but basically, <laughs> my process was interesting cover, funny title, um, is it like a self-help book? Because I don't really want to do self-help books in that sense. Um, what what kind of book is it? Or like what genre is it? And if it was a... Um, I, I mean, not all of them actually had like descriptions that made sense. Some of them had like quotes from different people saying so-and-so about the book. And I was like, I don't even know how to read this because it was just a whole thing. It, it wasn't even spaced out. It was actually very annoying to read. Anyway, so this is what I've ended up with. 
Um, and now I need to do some reading. So, shall we pick? Um, I'm thinking either The Cross-Eyed Kitten or Wacky Witches and their, whatever it's called, Peculiar, and their Peculiar Families. Okay, easy to read, sure. Anyway, let's download this one and the, uh, the Cross-Eyed Kitten one. Um, actually, let's see if, can I do it in this, this, this way? Uh, oh, okay, that opened. I don't know how to use this app, okay? This is... What's happening? <laughs> I'm so confused! That galley shelf. Okay, my books. Okay. So, I'll start with those two and I'll check back once I figure out, like, how to do... do uh, ah! <laughs> So, Tom, he's not helpful. Okay, so, first one, The Cross-Eyed Kitten by Judith um, Ackerman. Adorable. Um, <laughs> it's just very short. It's this girl's birthday. She wants a kitten. They go to the adoption place and she picks a kitten who just happens to be cross-eyed. The only thing I have to like, um, the, the only thing that, that bothered me a bit, um, was, well, the, the graphics in it, they're amazing, very talented illustrator, but, um, the faces were so real in some places, it creeped me out. I'm special that way. Super, super short children's book, definitely. Um, the second one, Wacky Witches and the Peculiar Familiars um, by April Suddendorf. Suddendorf? Basically this was just uh, very much the picture book kind of, but a bit like uh, a book about all the farm animals <laughs> or something like that. Uh, it was like every page has, had a different person and a pet. Um, so that was quite fun. Um, also, the whole thing rhymed. <laughs> I was not expecting that, but that was quite funny. Um, adorable, both of them. I, I don't really know much, what else to say about it because there's not a lot to say. One was like 45 pages, the other was 25 pages, something like that. So both very short. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I, don't, I think I'm gonna do some more reading. Shall we see what else we had? My, how do I do this? Okay, let's do the, you know what? Let's do it like this. Let's get a, what's the spinning wheel called? Random generator. Wheel of names, sure. Let's shuffle them a bit. Oh, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Stop zooming in, I'm not zooming in. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Can't actually see. I'm apparently reading Lenny Among Ghosts. Right, we are reading Lenny Among Ghosts. If I can actually thingy it, thingy it, <laughs> download it. Why? It's only 142 pages. This is going well. This is going well. See you in a bit. Hello. Um, so I just finished, what was it called? Lenny Among Ghosts by Frank Maria Reifenberg. Um, it's illustrated by Thilo Krapp. K-R-A-P-P. -P. I, I don't know. Uh, and translated by Rachel Reynolds. Re Reynolds. Um, so it's originally in German. Wow, wow. Um, anyway, uh, so the book is about Lenny. Lenny is just this normal little kid who uh, is kind of sent off to boarding school by his parents. We kind of start where he's like left. Um, he, he's on his way to boarding school. Um, 
And it just so happens that the boarding school is not a normal one, it's full of ghosts. It's a school for ghosts and Lenny is the only non-dead person there. Um, and it kind of just takes up from there. Uh, it's it was honestly so funny and adorable. Uh, I mean, there's some bits and pieces that it's like, it's so unbelievable. Um, but this could only work in a children's story. And yeah, <laughs> not just the fact that it's ghosts. It's, it's some bits and pieces that, that wouldn't add up in a different kind of story or a story for older people. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a children's story so it works absolutely perfectly fine and uh, yeah, adorable little thing. And um, I just wrote out the um, review thing so I'm going to send the review now. And I wrote the reviews for the other books earlier. So I am going to check what the percentage, the review ratio has gone up to. Let's see, so we were on 13. Nice low number there. Uh, it's now on 40, so we're like halfway through to the recommended ratio, is, which is 80%, so yes. 